Hello, fellow heroes, and welcome to the Project Odyssey Dungeons and Dragons Anthology series. Where today I have with me uh, Nate from Two, Bir Two Beards, please. I have Toy Reaper. I also have Ali over Allison, and I have Kale Salad. All these. People are fantastic content creators, uh, which you can catch at their respective places. Like, uh, Nate is a podcaster. You can see his website down there in the bottom left corner at twobeardsplease.com, where he talks about uh, real-life events that have happened to him. He has some fantastic stories and is kind of a big reason why I have this guy right here. <laughs> next over uh you've seen her last time was ali over allison where uh she is streaming dark souls and she's also uh doing hot ones does that content sound familiar yes a little bit but we're gonna brush over that <laughs> we have toy reaper dude is a wizard when it comes to minecraft um he's looking to get back into streaming but you can catch his youtube channel again at the bottom left corner where he does minecraft tutorials sometimes they're planned sometimes uh they're completely he's vibing and it's going on the fly and i just have to ask do you have everything toy <laughs> i don't think we heard you there i think you're still muted See, that just even more proves the point. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, uh, Kale Salad, who has joined us over uh, from her, her her sea shanties and ship, or also known as, what is it, Captain Chicken? In your, uh, in, on your Sea of Thieves streams, as well as the Among Us streams that you take part in uh, every once in a while. So thank you, Captain, for joining us in this adventure today. Welcome, glad to be here. <laughs> All right, we uh, it wouldn't be a Project Odyssey campaign uh, if we didn't have some newcomers. Of course, uh, Toy and Kale are uh, new to the game, but we're gonna hold their hands for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then we'll throw them off uh, in the deep end. Or a lot. And on today's adventure, you guys may already be hearing it: the humming of a starship. That's right. We're in space today, as the crew of, uh, we'll just call it, we'll, we'll call the ship the Titan. <laughs> the crew of the Titan are on their way to a planet. As uh, you guys gather around um, the ship and uh, the hull terminal uh, lights up. And uh, there is a green hologram and there seems to be a lady with some, uh, like, a, like a koala hanging off her shoulder as she's, as she's uh, carrying it and stuff like that. She's got like these khaki clothes and a khaki hat. And, um, and she looks to you on and, and so our story begins. As she kind of chimes in, she's like, hello? Hello, are you guys there? The crew of Titan? Titan, Titan crew? Hi, hi, that's us. Oh. <laughs> uh my my uh my scanners uh were were telling me that uh you, you guys are closing in on the planet. I I really appreciate you guys taking on the job. Well, we were in the midst of of transporting uh one of the animals and uh we got raided uh by some pirates and and they they took one of the rare breeds. Uh we've sent out a bounty and, and I'm so glad that one of you guys uh this crew picked up the, the bounty. Um, it, it shows that you guys are, are closing in on, on the nearest planet now where the, the beacon was last spotted. I, uh, I I just want you to know um, that this is a rare breed of a species. And then like the hollow transmission changes and you see uh, uh, a bunny. It's a bunny rabbit with a unicorn horn. Oh. And it, it's just sitting Jack. there and it's just kind of spinning in circles. We will try our best. Uh, is the are 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 these are these animals dangerous at all? Should I be worried about the animal? Do we need the holy hand grenade? <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, the the thing about um Dunton is uh he he they were once bred for war, so he is cute and cuddly, but oh. uh, he can easily transform into a ferocious uh, beast the monster now now he does have a soft spot uh for for uh licorice candy and and his specifically his left ear 
um, he, he loves that spot. So even if he does transform into a ferocious beast, um, you know, uh, scratch that part of the ear while trying not to lose one of your limbs, and um, he'll, well, he'll, uh, he should go back to normal size. <laughs> this planet is uh, uh, cons considered off limits. As there was once a, a large scale battle here, and you see tons, I mean, hundreds, if not thousands, of starships and battleships floating debris, floating in orbit around this planet. As um, there, uh, <laughs> there was a swarm of, of alien life forms that had essentially taken over, and a large scale battle was taking place to retake the planet, but it never really failed. Dunton, our cute little fluffy rabbit, has ended up on this planet. And you guys have to go in there, uh, secure it from the bug aliens, and uh, get back safely, all while trying not to have Dunton uh, kill you along the way. Map. Apparently, there's already another group of what seems to be bounty, par bounty hunters um, uh, settling down. There's another group of ships that are flying in um, and, and landing on the surface of the planet, not far from the last transmission of Dunton. Would you guys like to land near uh, this party, or would you like to stay away from them? <laughs> well, exactly. do we recognize who they are, or is it like complete strangers? Ooh, uh, that's a good question. Um, go ahead and make a history check. History, okay. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20, nice. Okay, so... Uh, this is uh, a group of mercenaries. Uh, they pick up a, they pick up bounties. They're called uh, the Roll Tide, and, and they usually have large numbers, and they usually win because of their numbers, and they get a lot of bounties done throughout uh, these systems because of that. So most of the part, they're basically neutral. You've ran into them in the past. Um, you know, as long they, they don't mind helping other people out and stuff like that if, if it takes for a cut of the bounty. Great, okay. I say, I'm telling this to the group, maybe we land semi-close and kind of approach them cautiously. All right, all right, sounds good. Yep. Um, as your ship <laughs> gets within uh, the atmosphere and you guys find a place, uh, we'll, we'll say about like a mile or two away from, uh, from them. So about 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes to an hour hike over um, as you land. Um, and you guys go ahead. Oh, and come on. <laughs> I'm a halfling. <laughs> You're getting your exercise in for the day. I'm sure we have like some sort of launcher that we can like eat you over there. It'll be fine. <laughs> Let us know if it's safe or not. As you guys get near, you notice they've uh, assimilated their ships in kind of like a, uh, like a crescent moon uh, formation in that they are almost like they've set up like this just huge camp. So they're using their ships as like walls and things of, of that nature. There is space in between the ships and you can of course walk under the ships and stuff like that, but um, it provides a little little safety or barrier to, to what How many how many ships are there? Um, that's a fantastic question. Right now, within the immediate area, there's about eleven ships. Okay. Do they have any valuable stuff? Make a perception check for me, please. Alright. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One plus four. Five. <laughs> oh, our first natural one of the night. <laughs> hey. A five. Hey, right now, you know, you're still walking up. You're kind of obscured by the swamp and the and the jungle area of things that are going on. Uh, you'll need to get a closer look. But from where you're at, you, you can't tell of any valuables. So they don't know you guys are there just yet. Uh, how, how do you guys want to approach this? Are, are there any stragglers, like, on the outer skirts of... Like by themselves, out of, like out of range of everyone else. That's a good question. Uh, yeah, there's some there's some guys there on patrol. I just I would like to, on the first person that I see kind yeah. of alone. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast charm person. Yeah, I want to stealth do it. Okay, go ahead and roll for stealth for me. While she's doing that, I'm sneaking around to the other side. And then what's the? Okay, do you want to roll for stealth? Uh, go ahead and make a stealth roll as well. And mm -hmm. then what's the saving throw they have to do? Uh, they have to do a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom saving throw. Well, I rolled a natural one, so. <laughs> <laughs> They're my buddy now. <laughs> Me and you. 
<laughs> so you begin um, sneaking around to flank him, uh, fled, and then Anna, you, you that's a good stealth. They don't even, he doesn't even realize that you're on a way. He's kind of just patrolling, just like, and then like this, this pink, just like fairy dust just hits him in the face and he just, uh, 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 uh. I'll, yell, I'll, I'll whisper yell, friend, come here, come here. Oh, uh, no, all right. As he uh, trots over into the, into the bushes and he says, he says, oh, I've, I've never, I've never met you before. It's, it's been, it's been so long. I, 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 how are you so doing? Long. Old friend, I'm so good. How are you? Oh, you, you know, I'm, I'm working. Is, is, what exactly are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you here. There's uh, uh, some some nature do-goody people set out a bounty to catch a small little wabbit. You know, we're, we're out here, we're out here trying to trying to catch them. Are you are you trying to take it back to Janny? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh great. Oh okay. So then I'll kind of relax a little bit. We're trying to find him too. Do you think we can maybe like? Team up, or are you guys gonna be angry at us? No, no, not at all, not at all. Come into camp. Make yourself warm. It's cold and wet out here. Come into camp. Right. I just want to clarify. This is the only bounty you guys are after. Well, we're always after other bounties, but the only one relating to the bunny. What other bounties do you have right now? But uh, he uh, looks looks over some things and he pulls out a scroll, and there's there's like a there's one bounty going on uh back back on some sand planet of, of helping these people fix their their oasis runes and stuff like that and then he pulls out a, a data pad <laughs> because my question is is that this is a bounty from people with limited resources but now there's like this entire large group that's going after it and they're willing to split it with us because like something about that doesn't seem right i like i like where your head is at uh go ahead and take a inspiration point Anna and Freya, you guys walk into camp, and the and the guy that's charmed is like, "Hey, everybody! Here's my friend that I've never met before." And then like the charm <laughs> wears off, and he's like, "Did you, did you charm me?" And then uh, everyone in the camp just bellows out laughing, as they're like, "Ah, <laughs> you got charmed! Ah, you got charmed! Ah, what's that? Is that the third <laughs> time this week?" <laughs> This guy over here. And he <laughs> and just. Like, Hi, I'm Anna. <laughs> Anna, come on, come on, get some drinks, come on. And then uh, the guy yeah. kind of like slumps his shoulders, puts his head down, and drags his feet back to patrol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and they got drinks out and they're talking. But then you notice. You notice as a, 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 a speeder comes in. <laughs> Stops and it takes out a bunch of guys who have like, like, like a acidic burns on their faces and they're being pulled out by stretchers and it's about like half a dozen dudes being taken up into one of the ships as they're they got like they're bleeding out and stab wounds and all this other stuff is like move 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 we gotta get these guys in here we gotta get these guys in here and uh, as you guys are walking up and grabbing your drinks one of the guys goes yeah <clears throat> that's another crew. We ain't able to make it that deep into this forest here now, are we? What happened to them? Ah, uh, them, them, them critters keep getting them. Them small critters, and they form up like like pack rats, you know? They, they, they jump in there and catch us off guard every time. You, you know, we're about to just go in there with a the flamethrower and just torch the whole place. I, I didn't know there were such creatures in these woods. Do you know yeah. what they are? What yeah. they're doing? Yeah, you know? Uh, they call them um, them correspond, correspond, corresponds. It is one of them worlds that they <clears throat> they don't want us going to because of them. They rapid mass producing creatures, and they don't stop growing too. They evolve, evolve into anything. They'll rip apart uh, tanks, uh, take take down starships. They they don't need air to breathe. Uh, you know, they can be as small as mice, and uh, you know, get catch up on you and t tear your flesh right to the bone. How are they not in the camp right now? Well, we're just out. Of, we're just far enough out out of the main breeding hubs. You see, 
but uh that there uh button that denton you know he found himself uh <coughs> in the center of the, the, that breeding spot and we've been trying we've been sending men waves after waves in there but they all been coming back just like that if they come back at all <laughs> is that what happened to this whole planet oh yeah yeah yep yeah, yeah. them corresponds now just keep eating yeah, they'll keep eating the Federation. Yeah, they, they tried to stop them. You know, but uh, you saw what happened to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're kind of floating out in space, aren't they? Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yep, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, we're losing a lot of men over this bunny here, but <clears throat> he kind of leans in. Yeah, these critters, these critters, they, they, they sell uh, really well at the black market. Jenny may be the only one posting the bounty, but uh, a rare species like that? Ooh! Ha! Hot dog, man! We can get ourselves a good, good old piece of coin! And plus, I never had me some unicorn rabbit meat, you know? Are you trying to kill the rabbit? Right, you know, between you and me, I don't think it needs all its limbs, you know? I, I could I could go for, for a, you know, a leg. Uh, you you immediately see like the captain's cabin, and you see that he has a ring and a axe hanging on his wall, or like there's a ring on his nightstand. There's an axe, and you've seen enough valuable materials to know those are worth something. But that's also uh, the most populated area over there is the captain's <laughs> quarters. Interesting. So I need a distraction somewhere else, is what you're saying. Well, I'll, I'll distract the people here that are in this vicinity. I. I... I am really interested in this coat. And I'll turn to the people and be like, can you tell me about this coat? Ah! You yeah, know, yep, yep. Now, this, this coat right here, uh, this, this one, this was Hebron's. Uh, he, melt, he melted. He melted oh. and uh, all that was left were his ankles. Uh, somehow his toes and his legs were completely gone, but we got his ankles. I'm going to pick you it up get and it. look at it. Like, like, like immersed in how beautiful this is. And be like, how much is it? Uh, that, that, that there coat right there. And that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. You're, you're looking at, uh, uh 15,000 gold pieces. Done. And I'll pull it out and give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, all right. It, it takes the, you, you transfer over the credits. Yeah, what what I'm else gonna... y'all looking at? While, while he's saying, just because, things, I'm gonna whip it on pull out my loot <laughs> guys look at me and just start playing a song okay to to make a performance check oh <laughs> my god oh, we're going hard <laughs> natural 20 oh the first 20 of the night of course i am just I... the best part ever in my new fancy coat okay yeah i like that yeah you start singing around Everyone can't help but uh, chime in as they're clapping along. Hey, 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 hey. And you found yourself on top of a table dancing and, and singing along and, and people are, are with you, brazen. And uh, yeah, that, that drives away most of the guards and the captain. The captain steps out of his cabin to go yeah, see, to go look at this performance. On. I'm going to take a look in the captain's oh room. Oh my uh, god, I can't believe you're older than 20. Go ahead, make a stealth <laughs> check. Make a stealth check. Let's see if you can get in there. This, this, this Natural is... 20. Stop! <laughs> you're lying. Oh no my gosh. Take my camera I down believe and point you. it at if you want me to. I believe no, you. I believe you. No! <laughs> no! I, I, I made this. I knew Ali was playing in this game. I was like... I was like, we'll just have bug creatures. She can't ruin my campaign with bug creatures. <laughs> I'll leave a little eye candy and a little do I Okay. All right. So, no, you easily I sneak in as everyone is uh, distracted by the music and the song and the tale. Even the captain, he's got his arms crossed. He's kind of nodding his head to the beat and he's enjoying it. He's enjoying the company you guys have brought. You are able to snag the blood axe and the freaking ring. The captain hears, hears, you know, what's, he goes, is, uh, is this your crew? Yeah. Now, <clears throat> the name's Aaron. I'm the captain of the 
Roll Tide. As he holds out his hand. I will gladly shake your hand, sir. Shake his hand Thanks, and stuff like Aaron. that. I'm Anna. Well, it's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you, Anna, and pleasure, pleasure to meet y'all, too. Now, uh, I'm going to have to pull my men back, but <clears throat> if, if uh, you do plan on going in there, we were, we were coming up with a strategy of sorts. If you want to go in there and secure that bunny, I can have my men on the outer sides of, uh, of their territory luring them out. That way you don't have to deal with a majority of the infestation that's going on in there. That would be lovely, yeah. We do that, uh, you know, get the bunny. We can, uh, we can split the profits. Uh, from uh, know, from Jenny. I mean, okay, so you are planning on giving it to Jenny? Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, that's uh, yeah. That's what came out here to do. All right, just, just make sure that like everyone in your crew is on board with that. There's been some rumors that they don't want to do that. Now, now I do it's hear, I, I do hear the crew talking. They're always trying to make another coin, but I gotta worry about. How are we gonna get fuel for the ships and how are we gonna put food on the table? So, huh? Great, great. Yes, I'm down for that plan. Oh, all right then. All right. Well, uh, why don't you take a second, uh, you know, do all the things you need to do, attune to whatever items you need to attune to, and uh, my, my men will go ahead and they'll start going out and start drawing out them boogers. The scanner that was given to you by uh, Jenny goes uh turns back on you've uh, reached the area to where beacon the, the the scrambling the of this planet's atmosphere is no longer affecting what's going on between you and the the microchip that's been planted inside of of dunton okay so we can find the bunny now so the bunny is close by not within this area that you've reached but probably past it however as you guys begin approaching something starts scurrying around we're now on the map so what you guys see on the map what you guys have been staring at this whole time except for the audience this is where you guys are at right now the scanner where Dunton is saying it is north in this direction now each square is five feet, so feel free to move your character's movement, but you guys aren't the only ones out here at the moment. Can I just, can I discern where that, like, scurrying sound is coming from, sure. or is it just everywhere? Um, make a perception check. Oh. Allie, stop I I rolling did. dice! <laughs> did you get another 20? I got a 19. <laughs> I'm just too good. I'm sorry. What is that total? 20, 22. 22. Okay. Uh, you hear scurrying over here. Okay. And over here. I told this to the party that we got we got sound going on in those two areas. Um, <laughs> um, and then I think we should try to sneak around those areas. And maybe, maybe, try to go that way. I, uh, I like Allie's idea, or Anna's idea. Let's, uh, let's go around. Okay. Um, if you guys are going to go around as a party, feel free to uh, roll for stealth. See if you guys can get around without uh, those creepy crawlies or whatever. Whatever's lurking in the woods. I got a 13. 13. I got a dirty 20. Oh, dirty 20. I got 11. 11, all right. Stop copy, baby. 11 <laughs> as well? <laughs> all right, cool, cool, cool. When, you got a 12, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I got 11, so okay. better off than me. Rogues are the least... Sneaky? What? Obviously. And you're doing really well. You covered a lot of ground. 
you hear a screeching of a creature that you are not familiar with as it and you start seeing these bug-like creatures appear out of the from the brush from the trees as they descend down from treetops or burrow out of the ground Um, about four of them are aware of you guys' presence as you guys have escaped by this group over here. Um, and here is a better look at the creatures that you have I... brought upon you. Uh, like you Rath- to see that. Wrath of Khan. <laughs> <laughs> now, with that being said... Roll initiative. Roll initiative. Hmm. Eleven. And then, um... Yep, mm-hmm. I got ten. Thank you for that. So, 20. Total. Oh, total? So it's a dirty 20? You take out your short bow as the bugs scream out, and you shoot it out towards the bug as uh, it's a direct hit. Go ahead and roll for damage for me. Eight. Eight. Wow, that's good. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. It makes four attacks. Of course it does. One with its bite, How convenient. two with its claws, and then one with its tail as it's uh, going to walk up. It's going to bite the person who shot it. That's a miss. It's going to swing. It's going to go ahead and swing twice at you. Uh, and your AC is a 14. As both those are going to hit, uh, you're going to take 2d4s plus 4 worth of damage as it slices in. <laughs> Uh, that's 10 points of damage, Freya. And then the tail is going to whip around and hit your small little friend uh, right here, Fled. As it misses with the tail. <laughs> S- smacks the ground as Fled jumps back. That one's unaware. Fled, it's your turn. Oh, boy. All right, so uh, this one right here I think is going to need to eat some steel here. Uh, 23. That's Fled. a hit. 10 points of damage. 10 points. That's good. That's good. Um, it is bloodied. If you have dealt, it is below half health. Or it is at half health or lower. Or you take out your short sword. You chop off uh, one of its many uh, limbs. Okay. I'm going to cast Shatter on those two. Okay. Shatter is a point you pick within, a, within the X amount of range. That's 75 I- feet. Yeah, oh, it's too far for you. The middle, my yeah. bad. Okay, well, I'm going to move. Yeah, that that fixes that problem. And then cast it. Yep, I'm going to move. I fixed my problem. Done. <laughs> okay, well, that's what I would like to do. Okay, the bug's going to reach out and swipe at you as you walk by. Why? Taking an attack of opportunity. <laughs> uh, he's going to try to bite you. Uh, that is a hit. Yeah. As it is. Uh, because it's a bite, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Saving throw. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Oof. Oh, all right. Well, I get hurt. Okay. So you run up. You're going to go cast this spell. You have this amazing idea in hand, but the crawler gets you. It's going to do three points of damage to you, and okay. then you also become frightened. Okay, I would like, before I cast a spell, I want to cast Unsettling Words. Okay, who are you doing it to? The first one in that little circle. Oh, okay, okay. So you're going to mess them up before they even get the chance to make the save? Right. Got it. But yeah, it's a burning inspiration, so it's D6. I knew that. Yeah. I'm, ex- <laughs> I'm You're good. Waking There's up a lot now. happening right okay. now in front of you. Jeez Louise, so minus five. Track- Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay. And then... What's the saving throw? They need to do a constitution saving throw. Constitution, top to bottom, left to right. Uh, as I get a another one. Tonight's my night. Uh, 20's coming up. I'm going to insta-kill one of you guys. Just beware. Mm-hmm. Mark my words. Uh, 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 so the, uh, See you guys. I'm sure it'll be me. <laughs> and then it's a minus 5 to the 17. So that's a 12. Uh, what did they have to beat? 13. 13 with a constitution. They both fail. Wow, that, that worked out for you perfectly. 17 <laughs> point. Yeah, they're both bloodied. 
You're there is you uh you run up, you snap your fingers, and the snap resonates, 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 and then boom <laughs> just explodes with this thunderous wave. Um you did make a very loud noise though and alerted the other buggers. Dexterity is plus three, so that's seventeen. That's a hit for and sure. Then... And then your axe does a D six instead of a D four. So roll roll four D sixes for me. <laughs> plus three. Plus three. So you do a plus five because the axe is magical and enhances your your uh, modifier. So you actually do sixteen points of damage, killing it. As you run up and da, 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 up swing with your axe, catch it right under the chin and split its head in two. Hey, and that also means that I get 10 temporary hit points. You do, because the blood axe, you then immediately see as the blood axe absorbs the yellow ooze that comes out of the alien bug and then uh, it strengthens you as you get a little, little bit more buff. <laughs> so I can move like over here though. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. I, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. As both these guys run towards Anna. Oh, you're just out of range. That's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so they're they're going to run through here. They're going to get right there. And they're going to call out. They're going to be like, nah, nah, um, as the other guys uh, rotate over. All right, Freya, it's your turn. 12. 12? Yeah. That hits as you pull back your short bow, and it launches. Just just like fate. 20. Woo! That's, that, that guy's dead. That guy got obliterated. You shot him, and your your arrow pierced him so hard, it just went straight through him. And uh, you, you, you even though you've never dealt with these creatures before, uh, you somehow found the heart. You knew. Your deadly instincts kicked in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so go ahead. Uh, if you're going to stealth, go ahead and roll for it for me. Let's see if you can beat their passive perception. And uh, if you want to, just for sake of mind, if you want to just like hide in the bushes. So, because uh, we're not playing Skyrim. You can't just crouch and then the <laughs> enemy guards are like, oh, it must have been the wind. <laughs> yeah, where did they but are you sure, though? <laughs> you said fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You jump. Go. Uh. Go ahead and jump in the bush, and it seems like they've lost track of you. It's like Homer Simpson melting back into the head. <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly what I did. <laughs> uh, bugs turns. Uh, these guys are moving in. Ah, you gotta be kidding me! You guys put yourselves in the perfect spot. The route that Anna told you to take made it to where my turns take an extra <laughs> step every time. I am just unable to do anything every turn. Permanently ruining your plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this bug is going to take four attacks on Fled. Are you sure it's got all of its limbs? Um, It's got the ones it needs. <laughs> no, it doesn't because I can't roll higher than a five. <laughs> and then this one's gonna make four attacks on Anna. Roll lower than a five. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> uh, what is a plus four to hit for each one of these? So they're all gonna hit you, Anna. Uh, you're gonna have to make a uh, Constitution saving throw to make sure you don't get poisoned. And then <laughs> I'm going to roll 4d12s, or sorry, 4d... 30-20. 3d4s. All right, you don't get poisoned. Maybe we should have bought the bag of reincarnation. <laughs> yeah, when the Dust. DM's giving you a bunch of things to bring yourself back to life. <laughs> just... <laughs> uh, no. Maybe that's a hit. Uh, or I, I can just roll ones on good. everything. So that's a 10... That. 13 points of damage, Hannah. 13? 13. Are you sure? I'm positive. This half isn't my turn? Um, it is Fled's turn, and then it's your turn. Fled's turn. 
All right. right, so I, I'm gonna again this this guy right here that I bloodied last time. Okay. That just struck me. I'm gonna swipe him with my sword. My my S word. Your S word. My. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was twelve. That's uh, you just hit it. Well, just as good enough. Um, uh, six points of damage. Six points of damage. It's dead. As it's fighting against you, and ding, 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 ding. Wait, uh, and right. you, what's that? Oh, go ahead. And then you you get one slice through right on a major artery, and it bleeds out. I'm going to cast Stinking Cloud over top of me as well. That's becoming a signature spell of yours. I love this spell. <laughs> I love it. It's come in handy so many times. <laughs> um. I will be encompassed in this as well, so it'll obviously affect me as well. But, uh, 20 foot radius, nauseating gas. Um, they have to make a constitution saving throw against poison. And if they fail, then they are left retching and reeling and cannot do anything. Wait, can they breathe? Wait, they don't need to breathe. Shoot, I knew that. Right? I knew that. Um, they don't need to breathe. No, they, they, they gotta breathe. They, they have, okay. they release spores. To reproduce, and you're gonna, their okay. stinking cloud's gonna go on those spores. What's that? Is that, is that good? Yeah, that's good. That's good for you. <laughs> you're good. <Okay. laughs> I, thought I thought at some point you said that they didn't need to breathe. And yeah, that character. that was that. Yeah, don't worry about that. That was flavor text. That was an actual creature. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, are they immune to poison? Uh, you can find out. I'll find out. <laughs> what's the, what's the, what do I have to beat? Oh, uh, uh, 13. Constitution. Yeah. Okay. You spray out, uh, your, your thick cloud, a uh, stinking cloud, and, um, they immediately seem to be affected by it, by they, they try to close the flaps that release the spores, and, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I rolled a d12 because I know what dice look like. <laughs> uh, left to right, top to bottom, as usual. Um, two of them succeed, but these two in the middle are now affected by it as they got their stank on. Right. And they're retching and, and reeling. Just... Bah, 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 bah. Wait, I'm gonna... Can I... Do I have to do my own con save? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna do that real fast. Uh... You should be able to be immune to everything that you're able to cast. Not fireball. That I'm me. fine. Um, <laughs> I may as well try to get out while only two can attack me. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, so I'm going to move back here, just just out of the cloud. All right, two of them are going to attack. It's better to have two of them attack you than four. Right, that's what I'm thinking. They don't even hit me, so. <laughs> <laughs> so they swing at you. Snap, snap is a, like a one and eight, and they completely miss. As you, they're too busy trying to trying to get around the stinking cloud. Your stinking cloud served you a greater purpose as you get out of there and uh, make it way. Fate, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, cool. So I want to use my short bow and shoot that one. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. You sh uh, uh, you have an inspiration point if you want to use it here or wait. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. So yeah, I'm gonna you get to reroll. <laughs> there, there we you go. go. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hit. So you do 19 points of damage to this guy, right here. Um, absolutely one shotting him. As you nice. shoot, you you <laughs> you go to knock your bow and you go to pull the drawstring back and it slips out of your hands you're like no not this time and you immediately <laughs> catch it before it fires just with lightning fast reflexes pull it back and snap fire again as it whizzes through the trees and you just like a sniper you bop <laughs> headshot him and he falls over dead those are dead okay Freya, it's your turn so can i attack this one that's like my anna yeah 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 go for it i mean no let her die no! <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> just, okay. just get one of the other uh, two. I'm just kidding fine. about leading you to a trap, okay? <laughs> 36. Too late now. That's good. That's a hit. 
Um, he's dead. As you deal 11 points of damage. Shoot it. You shoot it out from one of its legs as it is. It slips and falls and smashes its head on a rock, uh, dying right then and there. <laughs> you can move as far down as this area. Yeah, that's great. I get between my peoples here. Yeah. Using them both as a shield and you're sort of a protector. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Two for one. Two for God. one. <laughs> uh, but you guys have successfully defeated the bugs. I'm not done yet, so I'm 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 gonna aim on this turn. And then fled, roll to see if you hit them as they're right. trying to escape. Because combat's over, but fled is like sitting there with a with a mortar. And he's like loading it up, and the runes on the side of the cannon are glowing, and they're. Uh, 12. Tw you barely hit them. <laughs> they literally have a 12 AC. <laughs> and he's like, it the cannon glows red. Fire jet. Okay. They gotta do a DC 15 deck saving throw. As it. As you hear the, the stereotypical. They fail. Longer. Forty-five <laughs> points. Uh, Forty-five points of fire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever played Fallout before, but like <laughs> the mini nuke, just <laughs> there's like a small mushroom cloud. <laughs> Say hello to my where... little friend. Oh, I love that. <laughs> As you incinerated these bugs that were trying to get away. Uh, the two insectoids from uh, that tried to escape. You can only assume that they were recolonizing, getting back with um, the other other bugs or setting up more ambushes for you guys. But a little while has passed. This area is clear. You see this red hue because this whole area is covered in just fog. And you see this red hue of just boom, 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 boom. Off in the distance, as um, the the Roll Tide uh, mercenary group are uh, doing their part and and att attracting as many of the bugs as possible. And that's also probably another thing uh, what might might have happened. Uh, and and you guys are not being attacked by bugs anymore. So with uh, that underway, what would you guys like to do? Would you like to continue forward? Do you? Would you like to rest? I want to look in my backpack and see if I magically have a healing potion that just appeared in there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Will a long rest get you all of your hit points or enough hit points back? Yeah. It'll give me all my hit points and all my spell slots back. All right. Yeah, let's do the long rest then because we need you to be fully functional, I think. I agree. <laughs> all right. I'm going to roll it. Especially yeah. if you're going to do stupid things like go tanking in front of everybody. <laughs> you're the only, you're the only, only bar that fights from the front. <laughs> Anna with a group of rogues. <laughs> I'm just a little bard who wants to sing songs, and here you are throwing me out to fight bugs. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Um, we didn't exactly throw you. You kind of jumped in front. Since you guys took a long rest, I'm going to roll two ominous dice that have some meaning behind the campaign. Okay. Oh. Results have been taken. <laughs> Great. Uh, you're more than welcome to continue trekking f forward. And as you do, uh, the area around you, there's more. So everything has been kind of alive. But something weird about this planet, there's been like no magic. There's been no arcane presence. And as you're going closer and closer, and the beacon is is going... Boodle, boodle, boodle. Mushrooms are glowing. There's almost like a fey presence as there's kind of like this dust that floats over. The area is illuminating. And you can feel the vibrating presence of magic. Something you felt in other planets. And towards you, this path, there's this large tree. And under the tree, curled up, is a little bunny with a unicorn horn. Little bunny foo-foo. 
Um, we found actually, them! Cool. Yes, they're called Ala Mirage. Uh, if one of my mods could put the a link to a picture of those in chat, it's A L M I R A J. It's so cute. <laughs> it's like, that thing is adorable. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so it's it's sleeping soundly under this this tree, and it seems like everywhere it's hopped, it's left behind like its little paws left like these glowing tracks. Like this thing is just imbued with arcane magic that it, it's spewing it out to the forest around it, and it's brought like new life to this forest and, and things of that nature. Uh, who has the highest passive yeah, perception? Oh, that's I you, Fled. Fled. There's rustling in the area. I pointed As, out. Um, so he can he can pinpoint it down to the bush there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, matter of fact, <laughs> you catch them, and you start noticing as their bones begin, their bone structure begins to break. It is, <laughs> then blood starts to spew out, and then their, from their spine, the base of their back splits open, and these wings appear, sprout out. And this other creature starts pulling out from what you did as they evolve right in front of you. I'm sorry? What? <laughs> so, guys, if we go back the way we came, we have a ship, and we can leave. And before we'll you, you see an evolved form of what you once fought, but now mutated into a flying creature that is absorbed... The magic energy that the bunny has left behind. Uh, you guys are hiding your presence so well, it doesn't see you. So it only looks at Enna. And uh, I'm going to need everybody to roll for initiative. Roll on this. All right, this is where I want to get a good roll. And although I, I no five. longer see the, the turn tracker. Oh, yes, let five me add it. Three. I got 22. I got eight. Freya with the freaking lightning fast reflexes. Uh, go ahead and go first. So attacking with my short bow, seventeen. That that's a hit. No. Four d six is right. Correct. Not forty six, but four d six. <laughs> yeah, I was very confused. <laughs> Fourteen plus three, if I'm not mistaken. So that is a seventeen. Awesome, you deal 17 points of damage. That's a good chunk of his health. Ah, like, uh, changes his attention towards you. Now, these guys are blind, so in this scenario, you are playing Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> changes its tune. It makes a rhythm with the holes that are on its face and it the buzzing of its wings, and it creates almost like a melody, an alluring thrum, you might say. It is the most gothic, dreadful sound you ever heard, but you can't help but want to listen to more. As everyone must succeed in a co oh, everyone within twenty feet. So actually, so I'm good. You're good. My I'm good too. <laughs> you're. Am I good? I'm twenty five feet away. <laughs> are you? Oh my gosh, you are. So only. I'm twenty five too, right? Yeah, you're. It's only, uh... Oh, no! The bug moved forward! Oh, no! Well... <laughs> oh, no, Oh, shucks, man! No! I never saw that coming. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> so... uh, I narrowly missed. I'm only 50 feet away now. Oh, so... no. I fail! What a shame. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need everyone to make a... a constitution saving throw. Or be charmed by the gothic sounds that you are hearing. I'm. And it's oh, charmed. I have advantage on saving throws against being charmed. Because you're an elf. Sixteen. Six. Well, at sixteen. Sixteen, you pass with a sixteen. Fifteen. Fifteen, you pass. Unfortunately, Anna, a twelve is still a failure. No. As you are now charmed. Okay, so this bug is going to run up here and attempt to uh, eat the rabbit. Not the rabbit. It's so cute. Oh, 
Wow. It misses every oh. attack. <laughs> every attack misses as it swipes and swipes and swipes, and the rabbit is just like jumping around, uh, hopping, hopping. You're going to um, insult that bug. the bug? I am. That bug, you are the ugliest little thing in the entire world. Look at your little spindly legs. They're disgusting. Makes me want to throw up. <laughs> uh, roll to see if it hits. Nine. Nine. It hears you, but it it does not care. Yeah. As as your vicious mockery, um, they too are you realize are psychic, and so that's how they have their hive mind coordinating. And there's like this psychic protective barrier protecting it. As you see this pur flash of purple, psh, like bounce your spell off. Do I have a uh, line of sight to this bug here? Yes, you do. From where I'm at? Okay. The, yeah, it's a big tree, but uh, you can, yeah. All right, so I'm going to take a shot at him with my bow. I'm in stealth, so this is going to be sneak. Yes, it is. Uh, that's going to miss. Ten. That is a miss. As you shoot, uh, the bunny's hopping too high. You don't want to accidentally hit it, and you shoot a spot that's a little too hard to hit. It thunk right into the... the base of the tree okay so it's plus six so that's 18 18 that's a hit for sure and then roll and four roll d6s your four, 46 you guys hit so freaking hard <laughs> so glad freaking... they're doing something the uh plus three not. the tank's not hey the tank yeah, is that's plus three at 17 welcome oh, to tank. the life of a tank 17 <laughs> Uh, if anything, you guys are consistent as you take out another good portion of this thing's health. Already, what would have normally killed those other bug creatures hasn't even bloodied these guys. As you pull up your short bow, and it thunks right into its plated armor, and the creature looks over at you now. Okay, so I have psychic blades. Seven. Seven, uh, to hit? Yeah. You do miss... However, you get close enough to where it almost hit, you notice that they absorb the psychic energy and that they would not... It looks like if it would have hit, it would have done no damage. Like, they are immune to psychic. Love that. It's gonna, it's gonna make an attack towards uh, fate. It's gonna miss. One of them misses as uh, I get a 19 and 16, and they do... 2d10 plus 3 on each one. So I'm doing 4d10 plus 6 to you. Alright, bye guys. <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. I think you'll survive. If I can survive, you can survive. You can survive. So, uh, that's gonna be 34 points of damage, leaving you Jesus. at 4 health. Right, I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, the bunny's gonna go. It did not like that uh, this this thing was attacking it. A one, no freaking way! It it straight up just runs. It's so scared it runs to Freya as this creature comes out of nowhere. Freya stealthing with a natural twenty comes up here like approaching a cat, just very calmly and collective. And then I rolled a one on the D eight. That's the top left corner where Freya's standing, and it hops into Freya's arms. <laughs> you, you have the bunny. Here. The this creature next to you. The unfortunately, the bunny gave away your position. So now, uh, this creature is going to activate its crystal spores. Of everything within good. fifteen feet, each creature must make a uh, Constitution saving throw or become poisoned. While poison. You All take 2d10 damage at the start of each of its turns. You can repeat the saving throw at the wow. end of your turn. There's some big, I... nasty, flying cockroaches. Um, the screwed. bunny survives the poison. Bunny's good. I rolled a 13. Okay. Both you guys are poisoned. Wait, do I take the damage before my turn? Yes. So you're going to take the 2d10 right now. Oh man, that was a 10, and then the other dice bumped it. Uh, that's six points of damage you take this turn. Great, love that. Could okay, be worse. Could do be not worse. forget about you your your cloak, Charm. your coat. Oh. <gasps> so you can do an extra d10 necrotic damage to a target. 
This little fucker's getting it. I'm when you hit a that. creature with an attack. Great. So three and five. So so eight eight sixteen total. Sixteen. That's good. That's as much as a freaking rogue. Minus sixteen. As your coat your whips out, and then these like this eldritch blast shoots out from the back of your coat and hits it as you send out a grasping uh, hand that grabs it by the throat, crushing it, uh, doing tons of necrotic damage. All right, I'm going to pop a shot on that dude. 22. That's a hit. Thank God. (laughs) (laughs) Is 28 points of damage on him. It's now bloodied. All right, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to try and go stealthy again. <laughs> so now I'm going to attack with the Blood Axe. Okay. And I've got... I got 22. Attack roll. I have, oh, yeah. Gone for oh, that's roll. good. Go for the damage. Roll four D6s. Uh, 20 <laughs> points of damage. You ripped off its limbs as you... <laughs> it can no longer how many, attack... How many limbs? You ripped okay, off, good. You ripped good. off two of its limbs. It can no longer attack three times as... You've right. severed, um, you've severed it and damaged it to the point where it is critically wounded. <laughs> Bloody so. Freya, you have the bunny in hand, uh, sixty feet, so you can head there, anywhere here. Um, yeah, that works. Okay, <laughs> with the disengage. I'll run. I'll, I'll yell after you. Don't forget to scratch the left ear. <laughs> Ali, get an inspiration point. Um, as the bunny gets disgruntled, and you see as it's like, like exactly as the picture shows, there's this blue arcane energy that's beginning to glow around it as its eyes turn blue and it looks like it's about to be pissed off. What do you do? Scratch its left ear. Uh, that, that, I, what, who would have thought? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't like your licorice. You, I don't think. You, you scratch its left ear and it begins to calm down and it kind of like nuzzles more into your arms. Mine. It's so cute. This bug's gonna go. It's gonna make one attack at you because it only has one talent left, and it misses. Uh, this other one, three attacks on Anna. I might die here. Oh, I got an. Oh, you'll 20. be fine. Isn't that what you told I'm me? I'm going to <laughs> die. Ooh. So that's two d ten. So forty five points of damage. Or I'm sorry, thirty five points of damage. Thirty five. I'm dead. <laughs> so you're unconscious right now. You're unconscious. And yeah, you're not, not dead. dead. You can I stabilize. Know. In my mind, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move over here sneakily, and then I'm gonna take a shot at him. Okay. 18. That's a hit. As you line up your shot. 24 points of damage. 24 points of damage. That's good. And then I'm gonna go back into stealth mode. A uh, fate. You and this right. bug are both on your last <laughs> limbs, quite literally. You better All finish right, it so off. I'm going to go for stealth first. Ten. Yeah. That does fail. All right, cool. So we're just going to go back with the axe and just hope for the best here. Yep. And... Oh, my dear God. <laughs> what? All right, twelve. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you and the you bug are, are, are swiping at each other. Nothing. This bug is gonna just try to just uh, swing at you. 18. That's a hit. Are you kidding me? As it Welcome hits to you. The land of the dead. It's okay. I have a ring. I'll be fine. It definitely fine. does more than four points of damage, knocking you out. Now, the ring only activates whenever you die. Oh, so here, let me ask you this. If I move in, am I able to help stabilize Anna? You, sh- you most certainly are. Yeah. I'm to get in here to stabilize her for if I should start. She's looking better. To finish like, up. I'm going to try to finish off the bug. She's looking less and sh- less pale. Go for it. I'm going to shoot yeah. the bug again. Weighing your options. I like it. <laughs> Gambling with my uh... life. That's <laughs> <laughs> 13. Oh, that's a miss. Okay. Then I'm going to go back into stealth mode. Uh, 17. This is so annoying. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm ha- Mario's happy for you. DM is not. This bug is going to uh, try to eat you. Which one? Yummy. This one? 
Uh, no, it's going to try to eat fate while he's unconscious. Even as tore up as he is? Just leave me alone. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it does hit you. Uh, that counts as two failures whenever you get hit while you're unconscious. Holy oh, no. crap! Anna, last, last death saving throw. Let's see if you get back up. Ah, you do! I'm alive! I'm alive! All right, Flood, it's your turn. Oh, what should we do? I think we're gonna do pop a shot here again. In the this one? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about that other one eating me. It's fine. Well, that one's almost dead. Uh, yeah, so am I. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just, you have you a get, ring. You're fine. You have a ring. A dirt, dirty twenty for the sneak attack on that one. That's a hit. That's a hit. Oh. And there we get. Oh, that's not very much. Seven. 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage as you uh, bloodied it. It's now below half health. All right, and I'm not done yet. I'm going to use my bonus action and try to go stealth again. Okay. All right. You get into that stealth position as the uh, as you... <laughs> now you've attracted the attention of the other one because the arrow actually hit him, causing tremors, and the other one looks up from its meal. <laughs> looking around what what just happened and they both see Anna <laughs> I've <laughs> how, how do they why you gotta how do, do that they, wait, wait 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 how do they see her she got up You're she's awake yeah, I'm but alive. they don't have eyes they they see her Ooh. heartbeat I don't know <laughs> uh <laughs> Make this up because you would have killed I, me. All of this is made up. This whole game is made up. <laughs> <laughs> this whole game is... I'm gonna do attack. Seven. Seven to hit. Yeah. Oh no, you miss as it <laughs> goes past it. Uh, again, catching the attentions as now both the bugs realize that they are surrounded. Joanna, it's your turn. Great. Love that. Um, so, as a bonus action, okay, I'm going to use healing word on yes. myself. Uh, one, I, you probably already know this. As long as you heal someone with one bit of HP, they automatically get back up. I don't care about him though. I care about myself. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head I'm out. I'm at 1 HP right now. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a bug right next to me. So 3d8 plus 3. 23. So I have 33. That is significantly more. That's like nearly I full agree. health. Uh, it is, yes. All right. <laughs> Do a pop a shot on this guy. 20. Dirty 20. That's a hit. As you land, land another significant blow in him. 25 points of damage. Oh, jeez. That was good. You hit him right in the shoulder, and it just completely falls off. All right, Fate. All right, here we go. Is it's this your last it. one? Or do you still need, like, mm -hmm. this is the last one? This oh, is my God. Right. Are you dead? I got five. No. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Fate. It's holding on, you hear him coughing and gurgling, and then he gives out one last gasp. And he reaches out. And then his ring pops, and this dust, this glowing gray dust surrounds him, and he immediately pops back up. And he's standing. Five feet away. Five, five feet away. Five feet away from where you were standing. Um, five feet closer wait. to the bug. Roll three D6s. Plus your constitution. I did, I got ten. Ten, okay. So you you have ten health. You're back up with ten health. Hey, I killed someone. <laughs> you're but welcome. Did you though? I you did to you? Do that. Did, did you? you though? I'm still right here. <laughs> still, that's true. Right, right there. <laughs> it was worth stealing that ring though, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My turn. Lovely. This is a brutal fight. This is a brutal I am fight. Angry. I, about it. I died. <laughs> I'm going to cast Shatter. I need to do a con saving throw. 
What does it have to beat? 13. It fails. It takes 14 points of damage. 14? And how would you like it to die? <laughs> I would like it to just combust. It's, I know it's thunder, but I want it to burst into flames anyway, because, you know, lightning comes with thunder. You cast Shatter, and you snap your fingers like Roy Mustang as it it goes, and you hit one of the glowing mushrooms. And the arcane <laughs> energy from the glowing mushrooms sprouts out this arcane flame that explodes oh. and, and, and contains the bug as the bug screams out, Aah! It's burning and melting and falls as its wings crumble and it dies in place. Yes, that's what you get. <laughs> me. My turn. Your turn. Yeah. I'm within range. I'm gonna pop a shot I, at the last bug. With you're within Use range. The cannon. Is that a short bow? The short bow, range of eighty. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Yep. You're just in range. Okay. You got to go course. for it. I'm, I think I think this is my first time playing this game. I, I kind of hope so. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to hit, uh, that would be a 17 to hit. 17. That's a hit. 19 points of damage. 19. How would you like this bug to die? I just like it to wither and drop at the ground and at the feet in front of uh, Freya and the rabbit. So Freya, you're you're duking it out with this thing. Um, the the bunny is is cheering you on in the best way that it can. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you hear a thunk, and this bug just falls over dead. You see an arrow to the back of its like uh, where the spine meets its head and the bunny like just rubs up against you just been like meh, meh. like you did it like it it, it you that took full bunny. credit in the bunny's eyes <laughs> we did it all right wow you guys successfully killed off the mutated bugs pulling together your um, shit these bright lights uh shine down in the area that you're in your ship comes hovering in <laughs> You land, everyone runs on board. Um, okay, question. Uh, as you guys are escaping this planet, uh, there is a captain seat, a pilot seat, life support, and a gunner. Who sits where? Oh, boy. Captain seat. All right, you oh, take the captain seat. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can take the gunner. Go ahead, you can take the gunner. Uh, I'll, be the, I'll, I'll, I'll be the pilot. All right, you take the pilot. That leaves life support for you. All right, I'll take life support. All right, you take life support. You guys get in your chairs. You take your, your, your positions. The ship begins. You guys are about to leave this swamp planet. And then you get a hollow transmission from uh, the captain as uh, uh, he appears on screen. He's, well, now, looks like you guys... Uh, Caught the little guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. it was hard. Y we did. Oh well, you know uh, that's uh, that's good. That's good. You're getting another hollow transmission as uh, Lenny uh, comes up, and she's like, "Oh, uh, I I'm getting a signal back pinging from your ship. Uh, it 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 just looks like you guys got him. This is great. This is fantastic. Um, uh, I'm sending you the coordinates of where we can meet." And then um, the captain's like. <clears throat> Now this is uh, this is kind of awkward. I, I was all in uh, hopes of uh, returning that little bugger back to uh, you know his his home planet and all that you know where he's all protected and, and stuff like that. But uh, another a third party while you guys were out and about in the, that there swamp uh, showed showed its face and offered us a, a well <laughs> a wealthy amount. For, for that there pet. Uh, so, we're, uh, I like you. I like all you fellas. And as you guys are rising up from the planet, you see the Roll Tide mercenary group as their ships begin to rise up. <sighs> but, uh, you know, we're going to have to have to ask that you <laughs> hand over that, that sucker there. No. Now, now, 
I know we promised ourselves half before, but mm -hmm. hear me out. Uh, you'll get more than halves for a third of the profit of what this other seller is giving us. So uh, all I heard, it, he just wants to eat the little fella. There's still going to be three of them left in this system. Like you give, you hand him over to us. And we'll, yes. we'll transfer you the profits. I'm, I'm, I'm flying that way, like right now. No. <laughs> Look, I had to get rid of my ring. I will some money. murder you. <laughs> I am flying the ship. I, I <laughs> want money. I, I lost. I lost my ring. I need money. We have five thousand left. Yes, we have 5,000. I don't have 5,000. Mm -hmm. And yes. as you oh, are, as he's talking to you, you notice on the scanners, um, uh, Fled, that even though uh, Fate is doing his typical Fate thing and going back for greed, they're, they're arming their, their ion cannons and their torpedoes, and they're targeting they're you guys. Yeah, they're just going to blast us. We need to get out of here. So, Goodbye. So uh ludicrous speed fake do you, do you continue towards the weapons now that you know that they're armed and targeting you or do you head towards do you head towards the atmosphere and try to escape dude Jenny! atmosphere try to escape think about it dude it'd be better to be alive and spend a smaller amount than to be dead and spend a larger not be able to spend a larger amount they are I, you, I don't you, have my ring anymore if i had you my don't ring, have I'd another say ring go for it because i could still <laughs> live but like they're gonna kill you either way and you don't have the ring to come back so okay but like before that. we leave can i like hack their systems and find out where the seller no. is like you you can try you can try. So we'll that'll come up in a little bit. So you're 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 starting to leave towards the atmosphere. Um, I love that you're staying true to your character, though. Uh, I love the decision. I love the play. Go ahead and give yourself another inspiration point. Um, and the as you guys begin flying towards the atmosphere uh, with fate, you know, just kind of uh, to the to the behest of fate, you uh, they say the captain goes. Ah, well, <laughs> I was hoping you guys wouldn't see the fact that we're about to, to blow you sky high. It's nothing personal, just business. And at that moment, they all begin to fire. But luckily, because fate uh, decided to go away from them, uh, they don't all land their shots on you guys. So at which point, this is how things are going to work. As you have a small fleet of mercenaries chasing you guys, we're going to start off with the captain, the captain's show. What the captain does is you give advantage to one person in your crew for this turn. Who's going to get the advantage this turn? I'm going to give advantage to Fled. To uh, Fled? Okay, the life supports. No, oh, wait. I thought you were Gunner. Oh. Freya's Gunner, right? Freya's Gunner. Yes. Oh, to Freya. Okay, Sorry, Freya, you could you you transfer power over to the gunnering seat, and then Freya, uh, your guns are gonna get a little bit more juice. We're gonna move over to the pilot who goes next. All right, you're making your way to the atmosphere. Do you have uh, two choices you have to make? To you. remember, I said the orbit of this place is full of debris from lost ships. You can head towards uh, the clutter of debris where it's just like canisters and starships and uh falling pieces off you will have more maneuverability in that area but they even though they'll be able to hit you easier so you'll be free to make more choices in the future but they'll be able to hit you a lot easier you can go in to uh, a starship though that's your other option as there is a wreck starship that you can fly into you have less maneuverabilities less options but it'll be you'll probably take out some of them and you'll uh, it'll have a harder time for them to shoot you Going with the starship, do it. You're going with the starship. All right, you take the starship over, your ship over. You fly towards the wrecked starship as you take off that way. Uh, life support. Here's what's going to have to happen. You can activate the long-range scanner to plot out a course in the starship and make sure that you your pilot has a better chance of going it. Or you can transfer energy to the rear deflector shields, giving your ship a higher chance at defense from them shooting you from behind. Your Was that me? That's you. That's life support. Okay. Uh, I am going to 
give it to the pilot. Okay, so you activate the long-range scanners as you begin scanning the insides of the ship, giving your pilot a better chance at navigating through the wreckage before you. Gunner, you can aim the gun behind you. You have advantage on whatever you do here. Start shooting, start taking out uh, some of the ships that are following you, or you can aim in front and make sure you take out some of the debris that's going to be ahead of you from the starship that you're about to fly into. Behind. Behind. You boom, swivel the gun behind. You start beep, 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 shooting. Go ahead. Make an attack roll with advantage. Roll two d20s. Add your dex and uh, take the higher of the d20. Yeah, seven plus six. So you're going... That's a hit. You're going to hit one of them as you... Bow, 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 uh, you land a shot, taking out one of the, the starships following you guys. It flies and tumbles right at the entrance of the, the battle cruiser and blocks the path, taking out three more starships as they are unable to funnel themselves correctly in there with their friend crashing in front of them. Uh, back to the captain. Who are you giving advantage to as you guys are now in this massive starship? Uh, I'm going to give advantage to our pilot. Pilot? All right. Pilot's going to get advantage. You are now in the starship flying through. You can keep your eyes on the wheel and, um, you know, navigate through here like normal. Or you can uh, mess with your side panel you got there and try to hack into their system. See if you can find that buyer of yours. Ah, yep. I'm hacking. <laughs> Roll for advantage. Never see. giving you advantage again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I rolled a six. Uh, roll, roll two again. dice. Two dice and take funny. the higher dice. Okay. Because you're captain. Six. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm never giving you advantage again! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you try to hack into their systems, and you get uh, you get that one dude, the shopkeep dude, that pops up. It's like a little program. He's like, no, no, no! Not today! No, no, no! Not today! <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, dang it! <laughs> Try to get in there. All right, so the ship's not going through the Starfighter at the most efficient rate. You guys are probably going to send another turn in this Starfighter because of that. Or Starfighter, Starship. Because of that, now we're going to go over to life support. Now, because you uh, scanned the ship, uh, you did find the fastest route possible out of here. And let's see if your pilot can maneuver through it. Um, though, I need a roll to see how well these guys do. They don't get advantage, and I miss. Are you kidding me? They shoot their blasters at you. For the most part, you guys are fine. The, um, the deflector shields hold up. The, you, they didn't really d take them down. Uh, the bunny, however, is not secured. So, the bunny's kind of just hopping around the ship. You can um, turn on its cage where it has some treats that the that Lenny left you guys to learn uh, to lure it over there, or you can uh, aim the de deflector shields to the back of your ship. I'll take care of the cage with the bunny. Okay, so you activate the, the you remote activate the cage. The cage opens up. Uh, you you're looking on the camera and you see the bunny like hopping in there and eating some of its food and drinking some of its water as you close the cage. Uh, and then that's good. That's going to help you in the future. <laughs> Gunner seat. Uh, same thing as before, except this time, uh, because you took out one of the ships, the ships are not really gaining on you that well. So much so that they're, they're fine, but fine. You can look for a quick exit and escape out of this starship soon by shooting out the hole of the, the space cruiser, or you can continue shooting down the starfighters behind you guys. So if I shoot out the hole, can't they follow us through there? That, yes, yes. I'm glad you're thinking ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just take them all out. All right, you turn back. Do, 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 do. Roll one dice for me, please. 11. Plus six, so that's a 17. That's a hit. As you hit another one of the ships, uh, blocking the entrance, they gotta take a detoured path because you keep blowing up their ships. We're going back to the captain. Who are you giving advantage to? Pick me. I'm giving it. Oh, I'm sneeze again. Um, I'm gonna give advantage to the gunner. The gunner. All right, gunner's getting advantage. As you route powers to the guns, they glow hot with energy. Uh, pilot. All right. Uh, you're inside the, the space cruiser. Um, there's an exit. So you can take the exit um, and, and start setting up the coordinates for you uh, to activate your warp drive so you guys can get out of there. Or you can stall for more time, head over to the reactor core of this space cruiser and see if you can take out more of these pirates. 
take out like so take out more of the cruisers before we leave yeah so you you'll essentially you're going and if your teammates are with you they can help you blow up the space cruiser by activating its its warp warp core right and if i if we choose to leave then they're gonna follow us they're still gonna follow you there is a chance you'll be out in open space setting up your uh, coordinates to to get out of here um i say we try to blow it up okay you go you skip the 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 route out uh because it was mapped out by your life support you're going deeper into the space cruiser you guys are going to run into the reactor um all right life support uh, because of all the, uh, let's see what happens during life support. Are you, I just, I just want to hit the ship. I just want to hit the ship. <laughs> I just want to hit the ship. The, the firing's going on all around you guys. Uh, nothing is damaging just yet, but because of all the maneuvering and turning, the, uh, the rabbit gets disgruntled and, uh, grows big and his cage, oh, the, the sedatives God. kick in, but his cage breaks. You can leave your seat at the chair to go try to fix the cage, or you can run the schematics of the um, the core of this space cruiser to make it easier for your gunner to blow up the the core. Uh, I gotta go take care of the rabbit. All right, you you get off your seat, you run over to go help out the rabbit. Um, I'm as take care right now. As uh, the, the cage is broken and the rabbit's loose, uh, you're able to grab the rabbit, but it's disgruntled. It's glowing blue I'm and it's about to get bigger. You pet its I'm left ear. It's left ear. All right, everyone remembers. You pet its I'm left ear. You, you, you calm it down. You fix the cage. You're going to be gone, though. The uh, gunner, you guys are entering the, the warp core of the uh, large ship. You can shoot down some more uh, fighters or you can shoot the warp core. The guns have advantage. Right? Yes, the right. guns do have advantage. You don't have, you don't have, you don't know where to shoot on the warp core, but you can just start blasting away. Oh, make us leap faster. What's that? That'll make them leap, make us leap faster. Uh, yeah, it would help. It would help if you don't want to get disintegrated. <laughs> How many ships are left? Uh, you enemy. blew up a couple. There's probably about like seven ships left. All right, I'll do the, the core. Okay, uh, roll with advantage as you blast into the core. What I roll a d20? Yeah, two d20s. D20. So that's so 17. 11. Yeah, yeah, you crack. You crack uh, the exterior of the core. Uh, as the reactor becomes unstable and is now uh, leaking out as this ship is going to blow. All right. Captain, who do you want to give advantage to? Your your life support is no longer at their chair. Uh, I give it to the gunner again. Okay, you give it to the gunner again. <laughs> <laughs> Pilot, uh, you have to get out of there. You can focus on maneuvering, uh, escaping blaster fire from the starships behind you guys, or you can, uh, before you guys jump out of here, you can uh, try to hack into their systems again. I guess we'll leave. You guess we'll leave? All right, you focus on leaving roll for piloting skills. That's going to be a dexterity No, I'm check. more so just concerned about everybody in the ship killing me. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Yeah. You yeah. do have that inspiration point. Uh, roll for piloting skills. Make sure you don't wreck into anything. All right, just one d twenty or two. Uh, one d twenty with one. dexterity. With dexterity, that's a five. Use uh, inspiration. Use your inspiration. Use your yeah, inspiration. I'm use inspiration. Roll yeah, 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 I'm gonna good. do that. I was, so. I was gonna have you guys run into the <laughs> to the hole of okay, the ship. Okay, nat twenty. Nat 20. No way. Yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. You. Wow. It's like shooting swamp rats. <laughs> you literally pull, like, such a good maneuver. You get so far ahead of them. You have time to hack into the system and grab what you need. <laughs> you <have time> on. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You escape the whole of the, the starship uh, and their tailing behind you're now past all the debris you're in the open field uh you're just now getting back to your chair life support you can set in 
navigations for um, the, the to, to, to go into warp space, or you can divert um, uh, energy to the shields again. Oh, we're setting for warp. We're gonna go ludicrous speed. Okay, go ahead, <laughs> go ahead and roll to see if you can get your uh, navigations in. Thirteen. Thirteen. They're set. Coordinates are locked in place. Uh, Gunner. Just go to town. <laughs> go to town on them. See how many you can take out. Gunner. Oh, you have advantage. Okay, thank you. No, you are so. consistent. You are, <laughs> if anything, consistent. Uh, you shoot. You actually shoot the capital ship, which the captain is on, disabling him completely. He was the main ship that was essentially going to uh, uh, track you down after your warp drives would have activated. And uh, you take out you take out his main his main shields and you take you breach his hole as he has to back away from anything. He opens up the comms. It's just like, well, if that ain't fair play, I don't know what is. Roll tide. Roll tide. No. <laughs> as the Absolutely ship not. begins to shake, uh, the 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 stars around you blur as you hear the warp drives pull into activation. <laughs> you guys are out of there and have successfully completed this month's Project Odyssey. I want to do huge yeah. shout outs uh, to uh, everyone here. Again, uh, go uh, why don't, uh, starting with uh, Nate. Uh, tell us about your channel. Tell us where we can find you and what's going on. You can find us at our website, twobeardsplease.com. We put out a podcast twice a month. Uh, basically, we tell funny stories from our background and try to make each other laugh and hopefully you as well. So uh, we're available all, all the places podcasts are podcasted, Spotify, Apple, Google, e everywhere. So. Heck yeah. Allie over anybody, oh, oh, sorry. Up, hold on. Anybody that's watching that would like a sticker, send me a whisper and I'll send you some stickers. Heck yeah. Get some loot. Uh, Allie? Allie over Allison? Yeah, what are you up you to? Where can we find you? Yeah, here on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time and on Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I like cats, I like games, I love whiskey, so we always have a good time, you know? It's a good time. Heck yeah. Uh, Toy Reaper, what's going on in your life? Uh, so I have been doing Minecraft Bedrock YouTube videos. I am fixing to actually be changing that. I am about to be working on Bedrock and Java Edition and plan to start streaming as well. So YouTube or Twitch more often going to be YouTube. But yeah, going to be working on both of those. So Come check it out. Awesome. And Kale Salad, the, the, the gunner that keeps on gunning. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on? You can catch me on Twitch Monday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm also on YouTube, posting YouTube videos and all other social media. I play a lot of Sea of Thieves and Among Us on Mondays. Love it. Love it. Thank you guys again. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Please go give them a follow. Support these guys. Mm -hmm. They make fantastic content. And I, I myself enjoy listening to them as I edit my videos for long periods of time. So until next time. Play nice.